Welcome back. Thank you for staying with us on The Explainer. We're having a conversation now um, with uh, guests that we have had here on the program before, talking about investments in Kenya's tech sector, particularly in Konza uh, development uh, metropolis. There's a lot that's happening there. And once again today, happy to talk about a visit by a Malaysian business delegation scoping out the investment opportunities that exist in the world of tech here in the country. Let me introduce uh, my guests uh, to you, starting with the man on my uh, immediate right. That's Juan Murdani, Juan Mohammed, who's the Vice President, Digital Industry Acceleration. Thank you for being with us. And next to him, we have the Principal Secretary, State Department of ICT and Digital Economy, Engineer John Tanui. It's good to have you in the program once Thank again. Thank you, Juan. And right next to him is Ms. Suriya Afandi, who is the CEO of Meraki. Thank you for being with us. Thank and you welcome for to me. Nairobi. And then we've got uh, the CEO of Kanza Technopolis, that's John Paul O'Quiri. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much uh, for being here with us today. I, I mean, I think th the best place to begin would be with you, Buena PS. Uh, let's talk about this, uh, this particular visit. Um, you know, Kenya and Malaysia have been doing business for a long time. Um, tell us about, uh, you know, what opportunities exist and how Kenya is leveraging um, to expand more opportunities for investment here. As a country, we've uh, continued to invest in our positioning as the Silicon Savannah or the hub uh, in technology in the continent. And this has enabled us to connect with uh, global potential investors, including now Malaysia. We've had engagement with Malaysia for quite some time. Uh, in June, we had a team that visited Malaysia. We had a delegation from Malaysia who came to scout the African continent. They visited a number of countries. And also, we had an online engagement between Malaysian companies and the Malaysian uh, and Kenyan companies. And on the Kenya side, we're looking at how to grow our digital space and uh, Malaysia and many Asian countries becomes a very good model for us. When we look at, um, for example, Malaysia, Malaysia exports is 50 times what Kenya exports. A few years ago, we were at the same level. When you go deep and check what really contributes to their exports, it's technology. Over 20% of the exports in technology, including semiconductors, electronic products, and so forth. And this is the area Kenya positions to advance itself, to grow, and also to look at how to support the rest of the African continent. 40% of Malaysians' exports are, um, or 40% or of the employment is focused on export manufacturing. So as a country, as we position ourselves to attract investment in our special economic zones like Konsa Technopolis, Naivasha, Togo Kundu, and the other areas, tech will play a very key role. And we are very happy to receive delegations like we've received from Malaysia and uh, have engagement with Kenyan counterparts, visited some of the locations like Onsa Technopolis. And from the government side, we are doing everything to facilitate this investment. It aligns to our manufacturing uh, targets. It aligns with our digital superhighway uh, initiative and also enabling us to bring partners to achieve our call of a digital Kenya and unlocking the huge potentials in the digital space. Malaysia uh, shared some of the very ambitious goals they have, mm. which aligns with what we are doing as Kenya. They aim to have their digital economy contribute up to 25.3% of the economy. This is a journey that we think on the foundations, Kenya, we have set it right. And we think working with them, bringing investors from there, we are aligning and we are taking the country in the right path. In many political forums, we've talked we want to walk the journey yeah. that our Asian friends like Malaysia have done. I think okay. the opportunity is here. Yeah. John, what um, investment opportunities does Konza Technopolis provide uh, or offer to Malaysian companies? Uh, we, uh, okay, thank you very much for having me in this interview. Uh, we've hosted the Malaysian business uh, community in Konza Technopolis yesterday, and we've been able to showcase what uh, opportunities we have in Konza Technopolis. Uh, most uh, of the investors that uh, we hosted yesterday were investors in tech, technology. Konza Technopolis, we have a national data center, which provides this opportunity of uh, 
interacting with the Malaysian business community in tech. Uh, for example, we've uh, been able to interact with investors dealing in uh, drone technology, which is uh, a new emerging technology that uh, as a country and as Africa, we need to adopt. We've also been able to interact with investors in, in the emerging technologies like AI, machine learning, and big data. And these are investors that are, are so important to concert Metropolis in order to be able to realize the vision of uh, a digital economy. Now, uh, as Konza Technopolis, we want to be at the forefront of providing the Malaysian uh, business community uh, the gateway to Africa. We are ready with the infrastructure and uh, we are ready to support their entry into Kenya and also access the African market. We know that Africa is the ne next frontier of business and it's a good time that the Malaysian business community has, has strained their focus in, into Africa. And Konza Technopolis, we want to be at the center of this uh, approach. Mm. Um, and, and, and that is interesting. Now we're hearing the offering uh, from Kenya. Uh, one, what are some of the specific uh, you know, sectors uh, that attract uh, yourselves and, and other Malaysian investors to Kenya? Okay, first of all, uh, let me just uh, talk about uh, Malaysia Digital Economic Commission, MDEC. We are an agency under the Ministry of Digital. So our focus is to build up the digital ecosystem. So the reason that we are coming into this side of the market is we want to have our companies to go global. Talking about the focus sector, we have various focus sectors that we want to promote because these companies are being developed to make sure that they can build up the ecosystem. Uh, the three top focus sectors that I want to talk about is cybersecurity, AI, and drone tech. That's why I think we're bringing five companies into this mission where they have had quite uh, uh, good engagement with the potential partners in Kenya. So what our intention is to make sure that they can strike the deal in terms of uh, penetrating this market. Because our goal is always about making sure that we want to achieve our aspiration of creating about 90 billion ringgit of export in digital services to the to re regions outside Malaysia. So obviously Kenya is one of the market that we see the potential and we the support from the Ministry of ICT and Digital Economy and we visited Konza yesterday. Obviously there are some synergies that we can put forward and the environment in Konza which I believe would be something that the companies will be looking for in terms of placing their operation in Kenya. So we look forward to having that kind of synergies and partnership between Malaysia and Kenya on this thing. Right. And how about you, Surya? Um, well, looking into this and bringing, uh, representing Malaysia uh, as a drone tech company. So that's what we are bringing, looking into the biggest opportunity in Kenya. So this is, I'm, I'm very much a believer of um, uh, equality in women empowerment, right? Mm -hmm. So looking at that, how we can bring forward in Kenya this technology across um, supporting the modern agriculture, the smart farming, right? Mm -hmm. Looking into how best that this drone technology, robotic solutions can help in infrastructure. So the visits in Konza yesterday was a fruitful visit, a session that we look into a bigger opportunity, being up, uh, training the youth for a coming of how the career path can be moved forward with the drone tech, mm. right? In a different industry, not only focusing probably in, on, in the technology itself, maybe it can go beyond, right? We can look into a bigger path of having not only for uh, agriculture, it can go up to the tower management, asset management, infrastructure, and other solutions. So this industry is something that we can benchmark. What we practice in Malaysia, we bring up to Kenya. Mm. And this is the modern way of we are bringing technology involvement and advancement into the whole ecosystems of development technology. Yeah, and, and you've mentioned something about, you know, uh, sort of sharing an exchange of, um, of, of information and expertise. Uh, and, and one, you know, Malaysia is known for its expertise in, you know, the digital space, uh, and particularly in acceleration. So how do you think that can contribute to Kenya's digital transformation? I think is uh, we have been in the business for the past 25 years. Yeah. Uh, and that's a uh, primary mandate is to drive digital economy. So we have about 2,700 companies under our, our care. And we, we believe that they have uh, quite enough experience in terms of serving domestic market and ASEAN market. 
ASEAN market with population of 150 million. So we believe that it will be a good, uh, good uh, experience for the companies from Malaysia to be able to penetrate uh, Kenya. Because when we come to Kenya, uh, we, we look at the potential of the Kenya in various sectors, for example, agriculture for the drone, mm -hmm. uh, financial services for cyber security. So that would be something that we believe the experience that we have gotten earlier in Malaysian market and other regional market would be something which is beneficial to the Kenyan, which we believe through a right partnership, we can build up that capability and ecosystem in Kenya to make sure that we can support the transformation of Kenya uh, uh, towards a, a better governance in terms of using technology mm -hmm. to promote certain sectors in, a, in, in their economic development. Yeah. Yes. Um, skills transfer is you know, an important aspect of, mm. of, of any dealings uh, that we would have. Engineer Tanui, what are the plans to ensure that we have that um, you know, as part of uh, the plans going forward to ensure that local talent here is benefiting from some of the investments mm. uh, that are going to be made, um, possibly following this uh, visit? So the foundation of this engagement is actually skill uh, uh, enhancement on both sides because we've, we've realized both sides have something to learn from each other and uh, also experience sharing. You hear MTech has been in operation for 25 years and they are focusing on growing their tech companies and those tech companies have made a significant contribution to their economy. So the institutions on our side, the government, we are connecting with my counterpart on the other side of Malaysia mm -hmm. for learning and working on how we can practically work together, uh, learning from the experience and also connecting the Kenyan companies. One of the programs we had today was, was matchmaking. We had Kenyan companies who had expressed interest to connect and meet with the Malaysian companies and they had sessions to engage. And uh, we believe that engagement will enable them to allow Malaysian companies easily access the Kenyan market and jointly with the Kenyan counterparts be able to take those um, experiences to the rest of the continent. I think it's uh, opening a new opportunity for us as Kenya and look at our SMEs, especially on my side, those who are in the tech space, mm -hmm. to see how can we enable them first to support the Kenyan market and work with partners like the partners from Malaysia to support the rest of the African continent because the huge opportunities in the matching spaces, the cyber security, the uh, using uh, drones technologies for various uses mentioned, agriculture, hazard management, uh, there's huge uh, use cases uh, applicable. We've seen even uh, new uh, solutions and opportunities in a matching space like semiconductor industry. When we went to um, Malaysia, Asia, we had a chance to meet with the semiconductor industry uh, association and we see also potentials in various areas. Electronics industry is also an area that Malaysia has, has grown and we are looking at not just the software but we look at how we can also collaborate in electronic and uh, manufacturing which Kenya has just started. Okay and how do you ensure long-term profitability and sustainability for investors uh, at Konza, John. So what's the, the message that you yes. give to uh, our Malaysian visitors? Yes, Konza Technopolis is an investment destination. Uh, through that, we've been able to demarcate it as a special economic zone uh, so that uh, it provides the investors with uh, various incentives, both physical and non-physical. And that includes uh, tax uh, uh, reduction in taxes uh, and also ab ability to repatriate uh, the income that they are able to generate uh, within the technopolis. So these are all opportunities that uh, we've been able to uh, provide to the investors. And we believe that with this opportunity, uh, once they, we've been able to uh, provide to the investors, and we believe that with this opportunity, uh, once they take it up, we will be able to ensure that they are profitable. And also one of the uh, aspects that we focused on is matchmaking as has been mentioned by the PS, so that uh, the uh, Malaysian uh, investors and companies are able to partner with the local uh, technology companies so that it becomes a win-win for both uh, local, uh, our local investors and also the Malaysian companies. 
in that you find that uh, in, in the current investment uh, state, most of the foreign investors do not want to invest in brick and mortar. And uh, in Konza Technopolis, we've been able to uh, provide that collaboration opportunity for our local investors also to match make with the Malaysian companies so that the local uh, investors are able to uh, invest in the brick and mortar and then the Malaysian companies are able to bring in the technology. And in that partnership, they, they, there is uh, a knowledge transfer uh, that will take care of, of, of it as, as the investment uh, continues. Hmm. So that is what we are providing as Konza Technopolis. And uh, we are saying that we are ready for investment. We are ready for our investors to take up the opportunity and uh, welcome uh, f uh, tech new technologies into the country yeah. and in, uh, to be able to access the whole of Africa. Yeah, and, and speaking of those technologies, uh, Surya, what are you looking forward to uh, at Konza, for instance? Uh, John mentioned they, there's a drone zone. Are you perhaps looking into setting up a drone facility? Yeah. Um, I think looking into what best, the key word is digital transformation, yeah. right? When we are looking into how we are delivering, uh, we are demonstrating the uh, technology or the drone uh, uh, hub that they are going to develop in Konza. So this is what we are looking at, how we can upskill the talents, right? Yeah. How we can train the youth of uh, giving up an opportunity of a new career. So career that can, can call as a drone pilot, mm. right? This is the, the um, features that, or that we can venture on the training, education, uh, giving an awareness of a new career that we can develop the youth to move to the next level, right? And, and using a technology as a new career is another skills that you will actually upgrade in every industry, in the security as well, surveillance, uh, using drone. So these are the opportunities that we are looking at, um, not only looking at the hub itself in Konza, right? But we are looking in the bigger pictures that we are developing Kenya youth with a new career, with a new opportunity developing technology. Hmm. You've mentioned uh, you know, those key sectors, security, surveillance, but particularly also working with the youth. And many of those are in the SME sector one. Um, hmm. uh, that's also a big contributor to Kenya's economy. Yeah. Um, how do you see SMEs benefiting from uh, this collaboration between Kenya and Malaysia? I think um, uh, what, what we have seen so far is opportunities in the sectoral transformation. Mm -hmm. Because I think as we come into this market, uh, it is good for us to understand what are the real challenges in the sectors. Mm -hmm. For example, like in the manufacturing, in agriculture, even in financial services. So if we can find the uh, challenges that requires technology, digital technology. This is where I think we can come in to make sure that we can partner with local partners to see how do we roll out that solution to make sure that we can address that kind of challenges. And we look at the, when we roll out that, that solution, that's where the SMEs the, uh, along the value chain will be affected because you, you require certain services. Uh, when we come in, for example, like the company Drone Tech will be coming in with Drone Tech services, but there's a very few services that are required from that services which we believe that the SMEs of Kenya can be benefited. They can provide various services along that value chain. And I think that, in a way, would have a direct contribution in terms of how do we uplift SMEs in Kenya. Same like what we did in Malaysia as well. Because uh, in Malaysia, for example, 70% of our economy is contributed by SMEs and 50% of the job employment from SMEs. So if we can have a great impact to SMEs, I think that will open up a lever in terms of pushing the, the economic agenda of Kenya to a level where we can always have a direct benefits and indirect benefits to the economy, to various societies, and also create a proper social economic development to the country. So I think that's where I think we might have a bigger picture of we coming in, how do we provide solution, how do we give an impact to the overall ecosystem and how it will then be translated into the economic benefits of Kenya. Mm, and, and that ecosystem in Kenya, um, how do we ensure that it's, it's ready to support large-scale investments uh, like the ones we're talking about, particularly in areas like Konza Technopolis Engineer? We already uh, have a very good foundation in Kenya. Quite a lot of work has been done and we are very ready for such a partnership and collaboration. Software sector alone, we can see uh, many companies already um, providing uh, solutions 
to even uh, top corporates in Kenya really locally uh, developed software. We've seen also uh, Kenyan enterprises taking their software even outside this country that they're able to provide solutions to our neighbors. Uh, we've seen global companies also set up uh, software development in, in, in Kenya. That endorses that we have the talent and we have the capability for collaboration at the highest level. On the other area of hardware, um, this electronic industry, this is an area that um, we, are, we have the potential learning from what uh, Malaysia has done. So um, about, uh, about one and a half years ago, we started discussing how to really address the issues in the digital superhighway. And we realized it's, just, it's not just adding additional uh, connectivity in uh, broadband or fiber. We also realized even where we have broadband um, or uh, mobile broadband connectivity, we lacked uh, smartphones. And we are very happy to see private sector in Kenya start something new which was not there before, the electronic manufacturing of smartphones. And the data we have now is almost 2.6 million phones have been manufactured in Kenya, something which was not there before. So this provides a new opportunity that such leverages, such connections can now enable us expand. As you are aware, we have about 66 million phones in Kenya, um, uh, in the Kenyan market, used by Kenyans, 66 million. And imagine uh, now we can say only 2.6 have been manufactured locally. So the potential for us every year to manufacture 10 million, 15 million is there. And it will probably change our structure of even exports, learning from Malaysia, that probably now in Kenya, seven years <coughs> to 10 years with partnership with uh, Malaysia, with our local uh, enterprises, we could see our export structure change from agriculture, real leading products like uh, coffee, and we'll start seeing electronics. Yeah. And if we can also leverage on these global companies looking at how to diversify their supply chains, mm -hmm. and Kenya can position itself in the electronics industry. During our last uh, engagement with the US, Kenya was designated as a technology partner, and we were able to access the opportunity of um, being part of the Chiefs Act of the US. Taking advantage of this and partnership like with Malaysia, Kenya could enter into a premium space of uh, semiconductor manufacturing, mm. which will completely change our economic structure, combining that with electronics, software, new emerging solutions in uh, AI, trans technologies. So we are set in terms of the foundations, and I think we need more side partnerships, and indeed the transformation we are talking of will really come. Yeah, absolutely. And um, as we're talking about, you know, what the future looks like, um, John, talk to us about what Kenyans can expect, um, you know, in the field of ICT, in the days, months, years to come, uh, Konza has been around for a while. There's yes. many investments attracting uh, lots of interest from um, even uh, our Malaysian friends. Uh, yes. What can we expect um, going forward? We are moving towards Vision 2030, and that is the target that we have. Uh, we are currently accelerating the impact of Konza Technopolis. And through such partnerships, we believe that uh, we are going to achieve the vision of, of Kenya's vision 2030 uh, within time. And uh, looking forward, uh, as, as part of the mandate of Konza Technopolis Development Authority, is to ensure that uh, the investors are settled in Konza Technopolis. Uh, we believe that uh, with uh, such partnership with Malaysia, and looking at even uh, cities in Ma Malaysia like Cyberjaya, uh, they were started some 27 years ago. Konza is currently on the 12th year. We believe that uh, with such partnerships, then we'll get the quality investments that we are looking forward to develop our digital economy. So Konza Technopolis wants to be at the forefront of any additional uh, new technology that emerges. We want to be at the forefront of any new uh, emerging technology that uh, that comes up. And through partnership with Malaysia, then we are facing a situation where, as Konza Technopolis, we are going to achieve our digital economy the same way Malaysia has done. Uh, you find that in Malaysia, uh, the digital economy contributes to above 24% uh, into the GDP. Uh, currently in Kenya, we are still not yet there. But we believe that uh, with such partnerships, we will hit the target and even um, 
turn around the, the fortunes of our country in as far as digital transformation is concerned. Mm. Yeah. And maybe so, something yes. to add, uh, yes. you know, when we talk of smart cities or cluster development like Concert Technopolis, like what we are talking about, Tokokundu, Naivasha, and other matching uh, places. For Kenya, it's fast. We are, we've not had such uh, investments or such uh, clusters. But when you visit countries like Malaysia, they've gone through that and you are able to talk with someone like Mr. Wan says 20 years ago, this city was like this, this company was entering and they have that practical experience. And he was telling me about his personal experience when he visited Konsa, he can relate correctly with another city he visited. So the business of building cities is different like, like not building a house. Yeah. It's, a, it's a journey of decades. It's not a quick fix, but in respect to economic transformation, they will play a very key role in the transformation of a country's economy. Yeah, that's uh, that's really important. Uh, and allow me to take that as your closing comments, because I think that's a, a really good place to leave it. That it's it's a journey of decades. It's 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 not something that'll be realised, um, you know, quick fix. And it's also um, built on partnerships. Juan, what are your closing thoughts? Well, I think uh, just to take back what PS has said just mm -hmm. now, uh, the key to drive the economy is coming from three three aspects. The first one is driving investments. I think what Konza is doing is right path in terms of attracting the tech investment into the country. And secondly, is in terms of pushing for the adoption. Because as sector uh, is undergoing digital transformation, they have to adopt the technologies. Mm. And this is where I think the right policy has to be put in place to make sure that the adoption can be done in a more faster and orderly manner. And third one is local ecosystem. I think this is where I think uh, we are bringing the companies to Kenya based our local company because they have benefited from the program that we have done. So that is something that uh, which is crucial to have a global mindset in terms of having local companies to be able to penetrate international market. So th these are three things I think would be something critical for us to be successful in the digital economy. And again, what we said just now, Sabajaya took 26 years to to be where it is at, at this point in time. So those are three critical elements that we have uh, really uh, put up a right runway for Sabiaya to take off from, from where it was started to where it is at this point of time. I think that is something that we look forward to having a more close cooperation with Kenya to make sure that we can deliver the outcomes, which is mutual benefit to both parties. Absolutely, okay. thank you. Surya, you have the last word. Yeah. We are ready, <laughs> looking at what Konza has and mm -hmm. I think a lot of other opportunities looking at uh, during the visits and, and the programs that we have done for these few days. So uh, the best practices that we have in Malaysia, definitely the deliverables can be in Kenya, right? There's nothing stops here. And that's where we are ready. The entrepreneur has a lot of opportunities to come in. And that's how the business expansions can happen. Yeah, absolutely. So, Great. Thank you. And, and thank you for coming. Uh, we appreciate that. Surya Afandi, who's the CEO of, of Meraki. Thank you very much for your time. Uh, John Poloquiri, who's the CEO of Konza Technopolis. Appreciate your time here on the program, as always. And the Principal Secretary, State Department of ICT and Digital Economy, Engineer John Tanui, as well as the Vice President, Digital Industry Acceleration, one Mordani, one Mohammed. Thank you Thank all you. for being with us here to talk about uh, this Malaysian business community visit to Kenya, 12 companies uh, here exploring the various investment opportunities that the country has to offer, particularly in the area of technology and seeing what we have at the concert Technopolis, various areas there uh, that provide um, uh, suitable investment opportunities that continue to um, increase and enhance the trade ties between Kenya and Malaysia. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for being with us here today and we wish you all the very best uh, as you make that decision to invest in Kenya. That's where we leave it at for now. Thank you so much for joining us on The Explainer tonight. My name is Yvonne Okwara. Have a good night.